What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here and today I'm going to be using the USB killer against the top brand new PS4 Pro, Xbox One S and the Apple TV 4. So why am I doing this? Well, you guys wanted it. It's on you. All those comments I received to try and test the USB killer on a game console. Now this thing is actually pretty fascinating. The fact that it can kill things and most things just by plugging it in to a phone, a computer, even uh, affects tablets in some ways. So now we're wondering what it's gonna do to the new Xbox One S and PS4 Pro. Do they have a safeguard against these or who are plugging it in, go ahead and kill it. And by the way, no, this does not make for a very good prank. Whoever said this is a good prank on a roommate or someone, this is not a prank. This is a destruction of property. So be very careful what you do with the USB killer. All right, let's go ahead and unbox these guys and get to it. All right, so Xbox One S. I've actually never been an Xbox guy. I'm always a PS4, PS3 kind of guy, PS2. So I've literally never played any of the Gears of War or Halo uh, games. I mean, I would play them as a kid on the original Xbox, but not any of the recent ones. All right, so this thing is pretty compact. It's about the size of a PS4 now. And uh, I heard the old one was really, really big. All right, very clean looking. So it should stand like this. There's that. And the controller, very compact, very nice. Wow, that sounds like I just broke it. So there's it on the stand, nice. And there's a perfect little USB port right there. So maybe it'll just kill uh, the connector. Maybe it'll kill the whole thing. If anything, we got more ports back here. So got a lot of access into this thing. All right, there's that one. And the PS4, so. I actually have the original PS4, so actually the updated one that's more power efficient. The Pro is supposed to be an altogether different beast. All right. Very nice. Takes up a little bit more area, but it's a pretty compact device. Wedge shape, not bad. All right, and there it is, the PS4 and Xbox One S. Let's go ahead and plug them into my display and see if the USB killer will kill them. All right, powering it on for the very first time and looks good i like the logos they look very nice all right so we've got a working xbox one s and i don't even need to set it up because what is the point point? and first things first can we get some sort of spark out of here with the tester unit connected right here plug it into the front usb port and can we get spark oh wow yeah Wow, that is very, very loud. Ooh. We got everything we need, plenty of spark here. With this ready to go, with plenty of spark. Let's do this. Ah oh, man, brand new console, I feel so bad about this. And this is what your guys' curiosity gets you. You guys wanted to know, this is what happens if you plug the USB tech death killer into an Xbox. Three, two, one. Oh shit. Shoot! Don't know if I should touch that or what. I'm gonna unplug it from the back. It's going off like a bomb. Ouch. Okay. Wow, that's a little scary. <laughs> it's like a ticking bomb. So, removing that, maybe it just reset the system. Let's plug it back in. And nothing. Maybe if I hold it or something, nothing. So let's try the back. It made a sound like a little tiny one. Oh yeah. So the ports are still, ah, there's like a static. I just got shocked. The ports are still somehow getting power. Oh my goodness, like it just, there is no guard in here. Once a higher current than what's supposed to go through there goes through it, it doesn't stop. Like in most computers, there's just one crack, one pop, and it stops. Here, it just keeps going. Um, I don't think I can do anything here. I think it's dead. Yeah. Xbox One S failed the USB killer test. So let's try the controller itself. Can this thing survive? Plugging the little adapter for micro. USB in here with the light on blinking. Let's plug this in. 
and nothing. So it is resistant. I guess there's just not enough energy. Why would this put power out? I mean, it's just receiving power. So controller is not affected, but the actual unit is. Let's move on to the PS4 Pro. Now I'm team PS4, so I'm rooting for the PS4 to survive this, but plugging it all in, let's go ahead and power it on. Oh, it's right here. Nice design, very uh, sleek. I like the light bar. So we got two USB ports here and more in the back. And with the controller here, does it come with the charge? Yes, it does. Pretty much the same controller as the older one, but with this running and booted up, there's really no reason to delay, but we can go ahead and test the charge first. I cannot believe how fast that killed the Xbox One S. There was no protection in it whatsoever. Let's go ahead and test this guy. Can we get any kind of spark here? Yeah. But yeah, it feels like the Xbox One was a little bit more popping, not as much uh, spark here. Oh man, that's pretty strong. All right, so we got a good amount of voltage here. Unplug the tester unit. I'm so, so sorry guys, but we have to know what's gonna happen. All right, here we go, plugging it into the USB onto the PS4 Pro. Literally didn't even set it up yet, come on. Three, two, one. Too many USB devices are connected disconnect one. Wow, so this thing actually has protection. Okay, other port. Nothing. I heard a little crackle, but wow, that is awesome. That makes me uh, happy to be team uh, PS4. Cool. So Sony was pretty smart about their strategy and looks like the power has been cut off here as it's not recognizing anything. Now it's very possible that I just killed the ports. I'm gonna go ahead and test it. So does it still charge the controller? That's what I wanna know right now. Nothing. I'm not getting any sort of charge reaction here. So I think I may have just fried the ports. I'm gonna plug it into the back, see if those work. So in the back, yeah, it is charging from the back. If I unplug it, that goes away. So I can tell that the front ports have just been killed, but it's just the ports. The PS4 itself is still alive. So. Uh, I guess the only thing left to do right now is to plug it into the rear port and see if that does anything. All right, so testing the rear port right now, see if we can get spark here. Oh my goodness, this one is powerful. Okay, so still plenty of spark back here. If this goes, that's it. I don't have any other way to communicate with the PS4 Pro, so I'm just about now ready to go ahead and try this guy now. I'm powering it back on to see if the ports need a reset to work. I'm hoping so, but we'll see. And no, the ports are indeed dead. I just restarted it, so it didn't make a difference. Okay, here we go. Plugging the USB killer into the brand new PS4 Pro in three, two, one. Oh, okay, that one did it. So it just powered down, the fans stopped. Didn't make much of a sound, but for some reason, the rear port isn't protected, like the front ports. So that's a very interesting uh, thing to notice. Does it cycle and power on? Nope. This thing is dead. So neither the PS4 nor the Xbox have survived these torture tests. The front ports are protected on this guy though. So if you were to plug one of these in and you wanted to kill it, do it on the back. Um, learned something today at least. <laughs> but anyways, man. I thought that this thing would actually survive, but apparently not, and I cannot get this thing to boot, so I think that's the end of the road for both of these game consoles. So what happens when you plug one of these into a game console? They die just like a computer, no different. So I wanted to do one last little thing with the Apple TV. So let's take this guy and uh, plug it into the USB-C port on the back. Is it gonna be affected or is it protected? Let me go ahead and open it. Oh, and I uh, can't forget this guy first. And three, two, one nothing so i guess controllers just don't output power that's why and uh here is our usb-c port right there so we're going to use an adapter and plug this in but probably will kill it i think plugging the tester unit in and this guy can we get spark no spark nothing so hmm this isn't a power out port just power in probably just for data transfer couldn't hurt to try here we go usb killer into the usb-c adapter Straight in here, three, two, one. 
nothing. Looks like the Apple TV is immune. So you guys don't have anything to worry about this guy. All right, guys, and there it is. So that wraps up my video. Yes, the USB killer can kill consoles. The Apple TV is immune. And if you guys are wondering which one is stronger, the PS4 has more protection against this, but in the end, it still fell to the USB killer. If you guys want me to kill more things with this, leave it down below. And guys, believe me, more than anything, I'd love to plug this thing into a Tesla. Nobody, nobody is going to let me do that. And I'm not gonna walk into the dealership and just plug it in. I will go to jail and not make any more videos. Uh, I would love to plug this into a car and we might get a cheap one to do that to see what happens but yeah leave some ideas down below hope you guys enjoyed this video that's the usb killer versus the ps4 pro and xbox one s peace